Welcome in, afternoon class. Check in with your nickname, what you had for breakfast. All right, water slide in the house, ready to go. Ram charger in the house. All right, folks, come on in. Nolan Ryan Jr. checking in with Cheerios. Fantastic. All right, let's get started. Start marching, my ball players. Friday afternoon, beautiful day. Shirts tucked in. Knees up high. March, march, march. All right, very good, very good, very good. Three claps, one, two, three. Show off the armpits. Sniff those armpits. <laughs> Doesn't smell too bad. Who else we got here? Spaghetti for lunch for water slide, very nice. Yum, yum, touch your toes, don't pick your nose. And spread out wide. Smell your left knee. Smell it. And switch it over to the right one. We're going to get a good workout in today, guys. You want to go tell your friends about this workout? Go call them. Text them. Say, hey, do a fun workout with me. It's going to be uh, challenging on a Friday afternoon, but you can do it. Side to side, side to side. That's it, that's it. All right, pick those strawberries. Ready, exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. One, two. That's it. Stretch it out before the challenging workout. Make a V, left phalange. Stretch out, get there. And switch, other phalange. And both phalange. Get them both. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible. Modeling pose, left leg out, right foot across, twist and look behind you. Oh yes. Now hug that knee into the chest. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Woo. And switch. Twist and look behind you. If your back pops, say, oh, my Lanta. And hug that one in. Tell your, tell your knee you love him. Right foot. Here. 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 Here, and five, other leg kick, donkey kick. Here, three, four, five. Let's do that one more time. One, two, point the toe, three. Here, and five, left leg. Here, three, four, and five. Very good, downward facing dog. Half moon. And switch. Half moon. And we're up to our feet. We're running in place. Hustle salute. That's it. Anybody else check in today? All right. We got a good little turnout. Ten kids so far. We got ten. Six on YouTube. Four on Facebook. Let's go flamingo stretch. 
Other leg flamingo stretch. And twist those trunks. Twist them. Twist and shout. Just like we did last summer. Are we all hanging in there with the quarantine? We're doing our best. It's not easy. It'd be nice to have normal life. But this is what we got. Arm circles. And turn it into swim. Let's start swimming those arms. Swim them. You're at a pool right now. Swim. Backstroke. Now you got the backstroke going. Get the back going. Only one class tomorrow, folks. Just the Saturday morning class. Invite your family. We'll do some fat off for a little rest. That's it. Now both arms swim. Feel it in the shoulders. Way to go. Come on in. Enjoy. And hug yourself. That's it. Ten jumping jacks. Ready? Exercise. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, an eight, and nine, and ten. Two-minute jog on your marks. Get set. Go. Two-minute jog. If you can only run in place, then do some high knees. Try to get the knees up nice and high. I've been reading a book about Tommy Lasorda. Boy, is he fun. He was so energetic. Sometimes he'd only have like two or three people around him. But when he'd be teaching, it'd be like he was teaching an entire auditorium. And all the players would say, well, why is he yelling so loud? He was very passionate. Tommy Lasorda. All right, kickball black eye in the house. Come on now. Two-minute jog. I miss our Thursdays at the Sandlot, but we'll bring them back, even if we have to do it in the summertime. Same with our Irvine Sandlot, all the Sandlots. Any Sandlots we've missed, we'll make them up as soon as this virus is gone. 30 seconds remain. Don't forget to breathe. We're up to seven people on YouTube and we got three on Facebook. Still holding tight at 10 people. Keep it rolling. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. I'm going to run and go get my water. You run and go get your water and go get your notebooks. Notebooks and water. Stop. Water break. If you don't know what I mean by get your notebooks, we've been tallying uh, in our notebooks every day um, our seven drills. And the first drill is high five the sky. I toss the ball up. I meet, squeeze, and freeze. For my baseball players out there, use your glove. You can use your catcher's mitt, your infield glove, outfield glove, first base mitt, whatever you got. Use a glove. And we're just going to toss the ball up into the air. And we're not going to cup a soup it. Right black eye, right kickball, right Nolan Ryan Jr. Water slide, we're going up above our head. Meet it, squeeze it. Honey March gets it, go. Beat that number you got yesterday. You're not tossing it too high, but you do want to give yourself a chance to high five the sky. Meet it, squeeze it, freeze it, and keep your eyes on it. Very important. I can't tell you how this will keep you happy during these times of quarantine. Just tossing a ball up in the air and practicing catching it. It'll keep you happy. 20 seconds remaining. Can you beat the number you got yesterday?
10 seconds. Finish strong. Any shout outs today? Nolan Ryan Jr. was doing pull ups while he was running around the house. Rookie in the house. Had a boy, Rook. And stop. We got a good Costa Mesa crowd today. Kickball, Black Eye, Rookie, Nolan Ryan Jr. Uh, the only thing you've missed so far is stretching and our two minute jog. And that was column number one in our notebooks High Five the Sky. Let me know how you did, folks. Before we start drill number two, tell me how many you got. We basically got a uh, Costa Mesa sandlot going on on our laptops today. Before we start the wall drill, let me know how many high five the skies everybody got. All right, rookie got 57 at a boy. What about you, water slide? Nolan Ryan Jr., 42 on the high fives for Nolan Ryan. Black eye, kickball. Let's see those numbers. All right. It's meat squeeze and freeze against the wall. Now, if you want to throw it overhand today, you can. All right. But you got to make sure the ball comes right back towards your nose. Fingers to the sky. Elbow in right here. Meat squeeze and freeze. Attaboy, water slide. On your marks. Get set. Go. 60 seconds. See if you can beat Coach Ball game. See how my feet... They're moving like hot potato feet, like I'm stepping on hot coal. Keep my feet moving. Hand-eye coordination. If you're throwing the baseball overhand against your wall, pass through Teacherville. We don't want to get earwax on that ball. Over the top. Meat squeeze and frizz. That's it. Nice. That's it. Epic. Way to go. 15 seconds remaining. Keep working hard. 10 seconds remaining. Beat that number you got yesterday. Three, two, one, stop. Very good, very good. After we do our seven drills today, we're gonna get an epic workout in. Push-ups squats. We're going to get tough. We're going to get strong. Number three is the alligator, folks. It's ground ball time. Glove dirty, alligator. And don't forget to get that bee honkus down low to the ground. You want to travel low like a mongoose trying to catch a cobra. On your marks, get set, go. Alligator. Ooh, I had to go backhand right there. Alligator. Alligator. Had a boy rookie going no glove today. 35 seconds down, 20 to go. Ten seconds. I can't tell you how fun it is to just throw a ball up against the wall and stop. There you go. Write that number down. Write it down, number four. Get a sip of water if you need. You should be a little bit sweaty after that one. Soccer juggle, soccer juggle, soccer juggle. You got the ball, soccer juggle. You can use your knee, your foot, your chest, your head. You just can't touch it with your hands. On your marks, get set, go. We got a couple newcomers here on YouTube. Get that soccer ball, juggle, juggle. See how many juggles you can get in 60 seconds. Juggle, juggle, juggle. Juggle, juggle. Juggle, juggle. Boom, 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 boom. 
Ooh, I got six in a row. Six in a row. Way to go, black guy. Way to go, kickball. Way to go, rookie. Way to go, water slide. Seconds, two, one, and stop. Very nice. Lost feed on the Facebook. Sorry about that. Write that number down, and I'm going to wait and see who can type the fastest. What is our fifth drill? What's our fifth one? You guys got your notebooks. You've been writing these down every single day. Who's going to type it first? Who's going to let me know? Hula hoop. Close, rookie. Not quite yet. That's number six. What's number five? That's right. Figure eight. Nolan Ryan Jr. got it. Uh, we got the bee honk. It's down. Bend the knees like you're dancing on a toilet. Let's sing that dance on a toilet song together. Sumo. Sumo. Dance. Dance. Everybody dance on a toilet. Figure eight time. On your marks. Get set. Go. Can you beat Coach Ball Game? Can you do it? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Can you do it? Can you do it? Thirty. My legs are starting to burn, but keep the knees bent. Get to be honk us down low to the ground. Come on now. This is what makes you happy right here. Sweating, moving, activating. 15 seconds remaining. Come on now. 15 seconds remaining. Kickball, water slide, black guy, Nolan Ryan Jr., the rookie. There's three other people in the house as well. Not sure who else and stop. Very good, guys. Write it down. Write it down. Who else am I not mentioning? I see the five. Uh, rookie, water slide, Nolan Ryan Jr., kickball, and black eye. If you're able to type on your uh, chat, let me know uh, the nicknames of the others that are watching. Now we got our hula hoop. Tuck your shirt in as you go around. I don't care if you got a sock or a tennis ball or a basketball, whatever you have. See how many you can get in 60 seconds. Go. Ring around the rosy. Around the world. Hula hoop. Lego builders in the house. That a boy, Lego builder. Are y'all watching on YouTube as well, Lego builder? A lot of people will watch it on the YouTube and then comment on the Facebook. Around the world, we go with our soccer ball. Shoulders should be hurting. If you want to switch directions right about now, go ahead and do that. Switch directions. I was just going clockwise. Now I'm going counterclockwise. So we've got Lego Builder. Lego Builder. That's another Costa Mesa sand lotter. I love it. I'm guessing my sand lotters from Costa Mesa have morning class and can't make the 9 a.m. So you attend the 3 p.m. I like it. And stop. That is. And this is a great drill for you young hitters. My young hitters out there. What is that final drill? Hand-eye coordination. What do you got? Let me know. What is it? That last one. Good job. 39 right there for kickball and black eye. I got 42 from Nolan Ryan Jr. We're rocking and rolling. It's this guy, the ping pong. All right, ping pong. Bang, 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 bang. But I want you to try to get your knees up high. So you're going high knees while you're popping it up and your marks. Get set. Go!
That's it. And eye coordination right here. What a great way to pass the time during our quarantine. Stay home and do this thing. Yeah. Keep marching while you're doing it. Woo. I don't know about you guys, but I look forward to these classes every day. It's like the bright side of the day. It, it, it's exciting. We get to have some fun and be active. 20 seconds remaining. Rookie, you got that right, by the way. Rookie guessed uh, ping pong, and he got it right. 10 seconds. Keep marching while you're doing it. And stop. Excellent job. Get you some water and then set up your four bases. Get you that sip of water. And here's a little homework for you. Uh, maybe this weekend, make a graph of your data. The data you've collected this week with all your drills, the seven drills that we've done, make a graph of uh, how we did. You can do a bar graph. I think that's pretty easy, bar graph, uh, line graph. Um, but let's let's put our data on paper. Way to go, Nolan Ryan. 130 ping pongs. All right. What are you guys using for bases? Cones, socks, paper, home plate, first base, second base. Third base. All right, guys. Are you feeling good? Do you need another 20 seconds? Get your water in you? How about an eye black salute? How about a mustache salute? Beard salute. Mullet salute. Brad Pitt salute. Bounce back salute. Scholar salute. Double bicep. Triple bicep. Quadruple bicep. Bravery. Leadership. And the... Sportsmanship salute. Now, let's go to home plate, folks. Home plate. All right. Time to get after it. First base. Do it with me. Five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Second base. Polka dance. Interlock the hands and get those feet up in the air. Polka dance. All right, and we're moving to third base. Back to the push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Kids, now we're at home plate. Polka dance. Parents, if you could take a picture uh, of the workout today and post it on Instagram, tag me so I can see some polka dancing and some push-ups. All right, round number two, keep going. Push-ups. Three, four, five. Back to second base. You might be a little tired. Stay with me. With the polka. Nice. Third base. Push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Back to home. Yeah, polka. Water break. You should have two. You should have two rounds done. Welcome in, Jimmy Bop, at a boy. Get a little water. Very good. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Let's do one more of those. Deep breath in. Slowly out the mouth. All right, back to home plate. Are you there, guys? Are you at home plate? Very good. First base. Kangaroo jumps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jumping jacks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Come on, Nolan Ryan Jr. Kangaroos. Come on, Black Eye. Come on, kickball. 
Come on, water slide. Come on, rookie. Come on, Lego builder. Jumping jacks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Very nice. By the way, lessons. I'm doing them over my phone. If anybody wants a baseball lesson, we can do it over FaceTime, Zoom, Blue Jeans. Uh, those are the three apps that we've been using. Um, but you have your phone at your house. I've got my phone at my house. And I walk you through a lesson. Please let me know if you'd like one. And a boy, Jimmy Bob's here with Peter. Peter, what's your nickname? We've got Lego Builder here, Nolan Ryan Jr., Water Slide, Hookie, Black Eye, Kickball. That's six that I know of. I think a few people can't type on here. And we've got Peter. Very good, guys. All right, deep breath in. Slowly out the mouth. Back to home plate. Back to home plate. All right, folks, are we ready? We get to first base. Punch across. Boom, boom, boom. Five, boom, seven. Like Rocky Balboa. Yeah. We get to second base. Push ups. One, two, getting stronger. Four, five. Back to third base. More punches. Oh, man, when baseball season starts back, uh, you guys are going to be so ready to go. You're going to be strong and fast and ready. Everybody's going to be like, man, how are they hitting the ball so far? And back to home. Push ups. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. 30 second water break. If your shirts are tucked in, it's a lot easier. Pete Alonzo, that's that's gonna be Peter's nickname. I love it. So as far as the roll call goes, I see 10 people on YouTube, but I only have six nicknames. On Facebook, I've got uh, Lego Builder. And Pete Alonzo. A little water. All right. You ready, boys? Boys and girls, back to home. We're here. Let's run in place. We get to first base. Step up to the plate. You're a batter. Imagine that pitcher. It's lifting their leg, and they're about to pitch the ball. Boom! Home run. Now you go to second base. Now you're the pitcher. Lift your leg, get some power, and fire. Strike. Now you go to third base. You're the catcher. There's a runner on first, and they're trying to steal. Throw them out. And then back to home. Ten jumping jacks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back around. First base. Floss dance. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Second base, high knees. Get them up, get them up, get them up, up, high as you can. Engage the core. Your stomach is what's doing it. Third base. Sit-ups. Touch the ground. Touch your toes. Touch the ground. Touch your toes. Touch the ground. Touch your toes. Ground. Boom. And very nice. When you get to home, you get to sing your favorite song. Karaoke time. Woo! Take me out to the ball game. Take me out and stop. Very nice. Water break. Water break. So team meeting pose, guys. Team meeting pose. So since we've got about seven of our 11 uh, Costa Mesa Sandlotters here, and then we got a couple baseball players in North Carolina, I want to give you a little hit and talk today. Okay? And I'm going to teach you my, uh, my three keys to hitting the ball really, really awesomely. 
And the first one is balance. I need some help. Somebody type to me and let me know what in the world does balance mean? Mrs. Ballgame yeah. is taking care of the uh, daughters as best she can. Let's give her an atta girl. One, two, three. Atta girl. Yeah. You're going to say hi. I love it. And I just made a swing in the front yard by That's myself. Right. There's I baby Ballgame, Mrs. Ballgame. Stay stable is correct. That's right. Stay stable, Nolan Ryan Jr. So let me give you a little hint on how to stay safe, stable. Get some markers. Let's say you've got a batting tee in your backyard, or maybe you've got a net, right? And we can work on this in our lessons if you guys want to do any one-on-one -on -one lessons with me. Um, but I like to get two cones, and I put them outside my shoulders. And then I point my toes towards those cones, and that lets me know how wide my feet need to be. If my feet are too close, I'm not going to be stable like Nolan Ryan Jr. said. But if I'm wide... And I bend my knees and I get my bee honk is down. And if I can shift my weight back and forth like a major leaguer does, now I'm rooted in the ground like a stable tree. Okay, so that's the key to good balance right there is a good starting stance. Second thing we want to have is a quick bat. Anybody have any ideas? How do we get a quick bat? Moms, dads, brothers, sisters, how do we make this bat snap real quickly to the baseball? I like that answer on the stability there, rookie. Still on your feet, under your own power. Pete Alonzo, you got any ideas? The real Pete Alonzo, he's got a super fast bat, snap. Nolan Ryan Jr. says checking up and swinging hard. Choking up and swinging hard. That's good. Right? If you make the bat a little bit shorter, that's going to help you be fast. Anybody else? Fast hands and balance. Very good. So the fast hands comes from the path. What kind of path does our hands take? Uh, do we want a big swing backwards? No. All right. This flashlight right here, this knob of the bat, if it shines behind you on the umpire, you're going to take a big swing backwards and be late. But if our flashlight stays right here and swings whoop, quickly forwards like that, then you got something good. Okay. Now you're going to get away with a big swing backwards against slow, slow pitching, but you're going to start facing some faster pitching pretty soon. So let's get ready for that good pitcher by learning how to shave our mustache. That's the key to quick hands is that hand position right here near the ear flashlight pointed straight ahead, and then bang, swing quickly forwards, not big backwards. So we've got the balance. We've got the fast hands. What's that third one? It's your eyes, the vision. You got to be able to pick up the ball out of the pitcher's hand, watch it as it's coming. How is it trending? Is it starting high and then dropping? Is that pitch coming in low and fast? Is it coming in slow and dropping? Is it outside, inside? Um, you got to become best friends with the pitch. And then you got to see the ball when it touches the bat. You got to see impact. Bang. Just like that. There's so many young hitters, they see the ball for halfway and then they just swing and their head goes all, all over the place. No, no, no. We're not swinging our bat, we're hitting a ball. You got to hit a ball. So to do that, you got to use your vision. See the ball. Um, great job today, guys. I need to see two minutes of what a ball player does activity. Uh, we as ball players are different. We do things differently. We help out our parents. We do some awesome things around the house. I'm going to try to put my trampoline up later today so my kiddos can jump on that trampoline. That's going to be my what a ball player does activity. Two minutes and then report right back here. I want to tell you a little story before we finish up class. On your marks, get set, go. And let me know what you're doing. Are you mopping the floor, cleaning the toilets, cleaning the baseboards, vacuuming, dishes? What are you doing?
and stop. Come on back to your TV screen. Uh, I just want to give you a quick little story here about one of my favorite managers. This is uh, this is a certain somebody. Anybody know who this is? I've been reading his book. Somebody tell me who this is. Type it in there. Very good. Rookie gave the dog a treat. Pete Alonzo cleaning up after dinner on the East Coast there. a boy. Way to go. Who is this guy? Anybody got an idea? Tommy Lasorda is correct. Been reading his book. Um, his first job, he was uh, he carried a sack of potatoes, 70 pound, 70 pound sack of potatoes uh, all day long. And that was his first job at the age of 16. He'd come home so tired and he'd just lay on the floor and listen to his dad tell stories. And his mom would cook spaghetti. Um, when he started playing baseball, he was so energetic that sometimes he would uh, he would yell uh, even when there was only two or three people around him. And everybody was like, why is he announcing this like he's uh, he's in an auditorium? He is. That's right, Pete Alonzo. He is Mike Piazza's godfather, um, born in Pennsylvania. But uh, here's a couple of a uh, couple of quotes that that he had in his book. One was from his idol, Branch Rickey. Uh, quick trivia question before I read it. Branch Rickey um, was the uh, what was the guy who got somebody to play for the Brooklyn Dodgers? Who is that somebody? Branch Rickey drafted this player in 1947. Jackie Robinson is correct. Scholar salute for Nolan Ryan Jr. right there. Um, so. Uh, Tommy Lasorda, when he was a young pitcher, had an audition with Branch Rickey where he pitched a few balls in the bullpen and Branch Rickey watched him and Branch liked what he saw. So he brought him on uh, to the Dodgers team. Uh, Branch Rickey once said, sweat is the greatest solvent there is for most players' problems. There is no cure, no soluble way to get rid of a bad technique as quickly as sweat. Um, that was from the great Branch Rickey. And then Tommy Lasorda uh, took that quote that he learned from Branch and he used it uh, himself. When he would teach, uh, he would do a lot of infield work with uh, Ron Say and uh, Steve Garvey. Uh, he would teach them on the field during practices and games. He would teach them on the bus to and from stadiums. He would teach them over meals in their hotel rooms, in the clubhouse to play for Tommy uh, was more than a job or even a passion. It was a lifestyle. As Tommy Lasorda would holler across the fields of the Pioneer, Pacific Coast, and National League, the only path to success comes down the avenue of hard work. Uh, another quote from Tommy Lasorda, I told my players that if they enroll at Lasorda University, it won't cost them any money. The tuition is perspiration, determination, and inspiration. Pretty cool right there. Uh, he said, when you graduate, you'll make more money than any professor at Harvard or Yale. Uh, so he started his own university on the baseball field, Tommy Lasorda. But I'm loving reading his book. Uh, I hope you guys are continuing to read, read some good things, read some baseball books. And I uh, hope to see you tomorrow morning at our Saturday morning family class. Uh, dads, jean shorts and headbands are encouraged. And we're going to play a family sandlot game with a balled up piece of paper in our hand as a bat. We'll also get a good workout in as well. Keep watching the YouTube videos, guys. The more views we get, uh, the better it goes for us. And uh, we appreciate the Venmos. You, know, you folks have been uh, supporting and keeping us above water. We appreciate it uh, with, with the Venmo donations. It's awesome. Thanks again, guys. Go get them. You got to believe. Tommy Lasorda. You got to believe. See you, Jimmy.